So I've been playing around with 3D printing for a little while now, and uh, recently, uh, the last several prints I've tried to do, I've been coming across a problem again and again, and I wanted to share the solution with you so that if some of the rest of you are experiencing the same problem, that maybe you can have a little less uh, of a headache than, than I did. Uh, so let me show you what was happening. Um, I was uh, printing things that appeared to have, uh, it was like the, the material wasn't extruding right. It, I'd have gaps uh, in the face of the printing and then the layers would uh, just delaminate like this uh, very, very easily and just completely came, come apart. It was, uh, the prints were very spongy um, <clears throat> and just generally not doing what you wanted them to do. Uh, I, I started with uh, kind of chasing back the problem from the uh, the, the printing tip all the way uh, to the extruder motor and uh, wish I'd started the other way around because the the problem was uh, on the on the motor end but I I you know took apart the hot end and made sure that there wasn't a clog I went back through uh, the Bowden tube and made sure all of that was working right and here is what I eventually found so this is the uh, well I've got a uh, an ender 3 by uh, made by Creality um, and what I found was this. This is the uh, tension arm uh, on the extruder motor uh, set up, and uh, you, you have the little drive gear right here, uh, and it pivots on this. There's a spring here that pushes back so that this little idler pulley here actually puts tension on the, um, uh, on the filament so that uh, as the extruder motor turns, it actually pushes it into the hot end. Uh, and here was my problem. As you can see, is it from the top down, uh, the way you would see it naturally on the machine, you can't notice any problem at all. Uh, but when I took this off, I noticed this. There's a great big crack uh, that uh, completely negates any tension you might be putting on uh, to the filament with this pulley. Uh, and uh, so I bought a replacement from for it. And it's, as soon as I put the replacement on, um, it, uh, it solved the problem immediately. Uh, I'll show you what the uh, replacement looked like, and if you're having problems similar to this, I would suggest the upgrade. So a little bit of a product review here as well. So this here is Creality's actual uh, all-aluminum uh, extruder assembly. Um, you've got an aluminum arm now, which will have a whole lot less of a chance of cracking, uh, as well as uh, it, the kit that I bought came with a uh, a higher temperature uh, Bowden tube, uh, so that will uh, will help uh, with with higher temperature prints with uh, PETG and ABS and stuff. Uh, so as soon as I installed this, the prints came back to the quality that they were when I first assembled this machine. So there you go. I'll put a link in the description below to the actual uh, upgrade that I purchased. Um, there's many number of upgrades that uh, that may do just as well, but the one that I bought was the actual Creality model, uh, and it's been working great. So I uh, just wanted to share a troubleshooting uh, experience with you to help maybe prevent you from having the same headache that I did. Thanks. Bye.